two, this is 2021 and this is a 2018 Ford Fiesta gearbox on um, 90,000 miles and it's exploded. Yeah, you see that look, the differential exploded. And uh, number one son whose gears box is had to come home in the breakdown truck. The other thing I find strange. This thrust bearing's noisy. It's a thrust bearing and uh, clutch pusher plate in one. Hydraulic. Right, that's going to take it to bits just for curiosity. No, see, curiosity killed the cat. I could get the compressor and do it, but I've got to take that one. Just crack them on in one hand and find bolts with it. The bolts are 13 mil. Could be an eight. There's a lot of them. <coughs> Need to get a new gearbox. Well, I've got one that's uh, from a local scrapyard that only had 14,000 miles on it. No, sorry, 4,000 miles on it. So it was a wee bit extra, but I paid a wee bit extra just to get the low mileage gearbox. I'm wondering if I can salvage anything that's in this gearbox for doing something else. I'm going to have a look. I'll have to show you my new electric vehicle as well. well that bolt's loose and I didn't loosen it. me for a run in this car not long ago and I thought that I could hear this thing whining. There's something wrong there. So we went into the town with his pal and ended up sitting on a bus stop and getting home at two in the morning then he had to go to his work at like eight, eight past six. Muggins had to take him. Okay, two. Handy bolts those. Thank you very much. Why buy when you can resell? I think what had happened is something had happened and then all the oil had come out and the rest of the gearbox had disappeared as well. I thought a two thousand three year old gear no, four year old gearbox would do that, right? Can I breathe that pipe? Stop start engine. It's been quite a bit of fun getting the clutch to work again. Um, out on the internet as you do, you have to pump the clutch 10 times to build up pressure and after we did that and bleed it, he, um, he got it working again. And I've been invited to go back to lorry driving, I got a letter for the DBL at the day. It's about 15 years since I drove a lorry. I think we built a bit part time. But I wouldn't have wanted to go back to the oil industry. I was driving for before. Arctic. It's good fun uh, going through Aberdeen with a 60 foot length of pipe and an extending trail of it. That was interesting. Especially the tight roundabouts. It's an awful lot easier now because you just go down to Aberdeen bypass. Going through the town and 
doing 10,000 gear changes. I've never really been good at figuring out how gearboxes work. You know there's gears and forks and stuff that do it, but sometimes can't get my head around it. <laughs> impact driver there, it's uh, not sounding too healthy at the moment, mind you, <laughs> it's very old. Hmm, that's had a catastrophic failure, you can see. and the one we couldn't find, I couldn't get the thing apart. It's got a bit of bearing falling out there. Get set because they're eating those. I've also found a company now on the internet called Zorro, and you can buy uh, two and a half millimeter insert screws from them, which is handy. I ordered a couple, I've got a couple, I think they're Sandvik, so they'll be a good make. Um, so you have to try them. Frosty in it. Yeah, but we'll make the BM6, I think. Let's see how this comes out. The hydraulic cable that goes in here has got an O-ring in it, and the watch the chop in on it, taking a ring of bits. And then he said, uh, you can't buy the O-ring, you have to buy a whole kit, which comes with this bit, a new pipe. So this is your hydraulic... Uh, this is a bit that was difficult to bleed, it bleeds there. So I think that one's actually okay. Get some beer. There's a beer in there, I might be able to do something with it. Right, we'll come up up. Next question. The ceiling.
Even Avon won't have managed to sort this one. At least we don't have to worry about breaking anything. Because they can get robots to put the silicon on in the factories, they seem to do that rather than making gaskets nowadays. <laughs> shaft snapped in half. The uh, differential shaft snapped in half. I didn't know where it's going. I think it'll stop. No. seal in here that's causing the problem. Years ago, I'd have tried for Dolomite, is it? It was Dolomite Sprint, but it was the ordinary one. And uh, if you change your clutch on it, you, there was a way you could do it from within the car, and you ended up pulling this input shaft out, and then you could get the clutch in and you could put it back. Uh, but the forces involved were horrendous, and steel beams across the car, and jacks to get it to come out. Thank you. 
things fall on the ground, they usually fall apart. Bet it doesn't. <laughs> nope. Yeah, where the gear switches go in, that's a problem. 19 maybe. 18. Stud. Stud is it now? Make that one a different size, of course, don't I? Seems to be this bit here that's the problem. See, unscrew it beside it there. And we can just break it. Just loud. That dowel needs to come out.
plugging it. It's a blooming roll pin. It's hollow in the middle. Right, I think we can put it arms here. No travel back and forth. Changing the gears. There you are, some nice shafts in here. I'm going to keep everything that's in here, I think. Or project something or other. We have to prise all the gears off and there's a nice pair in there. There's another one at the other end, so I'll keep all this stuff or something. Not exactly sure what yet, but put two bearings in here. Right. Yeah. Well, that's a sharp metal. Well, there's a Ford Fiesta as the most popular car in. Britain, these are the churned out in their thousands. I don't think it's made in Britain though. I think it's made in Belgium. At least the one I had was. Just keep those levers as well. <laughs> You end up keeping stuff for that long, never use it, and then you throw it out, and then you need it for something. Thanks for the bolts out it. When I was uh, turning that 20 mil, you can see in front of you there, that length that was walloping about at the back here, so that's about 30 mil. I've made up this thing that actually slips in there. And uh, it's adjustable with these three bolts. So, because it was doing this when it was going round, so. Just another little play about with the lathe, really. But come on. Just playing, playing around with this 20 mil. Uh, I've got it within five, six times. Just playing. I haven't tightened the chuck end up.
Okay, well maybe have a do a bit more filming when I uh, get the try and take the rest of it apart. It may involve just angle grinding the shaft suit, <laughs> but it should come out. Uh, really like to, I'm hoping that the shaft in the centre of here is just a straight shaft, so that'll be a bit of hardened steel. Um, I think it'll be something like 43, 41 or something like that. Um, I don't think there's any use for the selectors, but you never know. It's in for mesh gears. Keep saying that, that's all I'm doing today.